Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is the Tara Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the Green Money Moon reading for the Virgo for the last half of April 2016. We're going to have a green moon, even though they say it's a hoax, we're still going to celebrate it as the Green Money Moon. So I'm going to do a five card spread to look at your financial situation, um, Virgo, and... Let me start shuffling. Okay, so I'm going to look at your current financial situation. Um, will money be coming into the Virgo's life very soon? Money opportunities that you may want to consider more closely. Um, who or what project will bring in more money? And then the outcome. So it's a five-part spread. Shouldn't take long. For a more personalized reading, contact me on my website. <clears throat> I do recommend that because this is just a general reading, okay? So it may not even resonate with you. Or every card may not resonate, so. All right, so card number one is your current financial foundation, and you did get the lovers. This is a major arcana. Um, it's a very spiritual card with a lot of energy. It's a lot of... Um, When I look at the money energies, I'm seeing um, <clears throat> the duality in this card because it just it just doesn't represent um, lovers. It can also represents it can also represent duality. Okay, so as far as work, there seems to be some sort of decision in relation to work that you're making. Um, <clears throat> you just want to make sure you analyze all the information and then make your best choice. But as far as your current financial situation, this means that things are going very good. Okay. Um, it's, but it's going so good for you romantically that you don't want to lose track of where you are with your personal financial life balance. So some things you just, you want to kind of put your focus you know, because cause for you to get the lover's card, Virgo, it shows that you are focused on your romantic life. But you just want to make sure that you um, put that time into your finances. <clears throat> also, um, this is a really good stable foundation for it to come up as your current foundation. So um, this is a really good card. Okay, let me take a look at your other cards. Card number two is will money come into your life very soon? Now, Virgo, you got the three of hearts. Sorry, the three of swords. What this represents is a some sort of work um, collaboration that's not making you happy. Is what I'm seeing with this card. Um, it's something going on at work. Um, there's someone at your work that you don't want to work with. And it's really causing you a lot of problems. And um, as a matter of fact, um, Virgo, you know, I can see it coming for you. But I think that, again, like card number one, you might want to focus more so on the finances or just focus your energies towards the money instead of trying to deal with this. It looks like there's some sort of love triangulation that's not making you Virgos happy. Okay, so... That, the, you know, the indicator of this card would say, um, you know, is it coming into your life very soon? Like within the week or so? For some of you Virgos, no. Um, it seems like you need to put your focus on money when you put your energy on something. That's when you're going to manifest it back to you. So right now, I can see that um, for the green money moon for the past, for the last half, 
of the month of April, it looks like the Virgo is going to be dealing with some kind of love situation and it's not going to make you happy and it's going to distract you from making money. So you want to be careful with that Virgo, okay? Um, next card, number three, is, uh, which card is this? Money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely. And you got the eight of wands. So there's some sort of money opportunity that is really challenging some sort of project that you're working on that's really challenging and you seem to be putting a lot of your energy into it which is a good thing but you're frustrated you know you're tired of waiting this card lets you know you need to be patient okay now in the context of work you want to make sure that you're being positive you want to be patient and then in finances um it can seem like things are not moving financially but when you decide to, the money's going to open up. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is all about being patient and waiting <clears throat> a little while longer for some sort of payoff. The Lover's card is a pretty um, big card, so I'm seeing a lot of money for some of you Virgos, a lot. Because for you to get the Lover's card in your current financial situation means that there's definitely some money coming in, Okay. But the cards are saying you need to not take your focus off of your partner, but put more concentrated energy into the financial part of it, okay? Um, also, right now, make sure that you're saving money. Um, watch your spending habits and just be patient, okay? Um, card number four. You got the hanged man. This is um, who or what project will bring in more money. So right now, you don't know, Virgo. You're kind of stuck in suspension right now. So you're making a choice. <laughs> you're trying to figure out what the right choice is for you. I want to say follow your heart, but it looks like that's what you're already doing. Um, but as far as with the money, with this hanged man coming up, the money is there kind of hanging above you, but it's waiting for you to accept it. You're not really ready to accept the blessings that you have. You're not ready to do that. Okay. So the hanged man is saying you're in suspension. You're at a crossroads. You don't know what you want to do. And... It seems kind of like you're you're kind of sick of what's going on. If, if you know if you have a um, a regular nine to five job, um, you might want to leave your job that you're currently at if you're at a regular job to look for something different. Um, if money is tight, you need to open up the flow of prosperity by giving away some of what you have, even if all you have is a piece of bread. You need to sacrifice something or some part of yourself so that you can get it back. So this is going to start your prosperity wheels to turn it because if you open it up, and I, and I think it more than just ways of giving away some of what you have as far as with whatever's going on within your you know, personal life that seems to be showing up in the reading. Um, I do see with this card that you're sort of in, that you need to give things more thought and you have to accept your blessings. So not only is this, you know, um, about not about sh making sure that you share, but also, um, opening yourself up, accepting the money, accepting the prosperity and the blessings you seem to be having a hard time accepting it it seems to be bothering you on some level now this isn't going to resonate with all of you virgos but this is what i got in the cards and i have to read them your final card is the four of swords so this is actually a pretty happy card okay this is letting you know 
that you need to take a break You need to take a break for some inner reflection or just to get some sleep. Don't be so worried about the money aspect of it because it's already, it looks like you're not, it looks like you are worried about it, but it's connected with this lover's card. So the four of swords is about withdrawing and taking some much needed space away from everything. And I see you doing this in April. It's kind of like whatever difficulties you're having, especially with this three of swords, you're gonna get away from it. And this is when your prosperity and, and abundance is gonna open because the four um, is about taking a vacation. The four of swords is about taking a vacation and it's letting you know to take a different course of action with as far as money is concerned. Okay, think of ways that you can bring in extra money. If you're old money, you need to collect. Okay, um, if you want a more in-depth reading, check out my website. <clears throat> Link is in the video description box. Um, also, I do have a coupon code for my new clients. Just put new client 10 on your checkout um, and you'll get a 10% discount. Um, go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you Virgos later. I also want to wish you um, massive prosperity, abundance, and wealth. And I hope that you are able to accept it on the green moon. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.